Hello, I'm Brad from Volt Corner 2003's 2016. I'm joined with the amazing experts. Thanks. <laughs> Would you like to introduce yourselves? I am Murray. I play guitar and sing. I'm Tom. I play uh, the drums. Fantastic. You guys were absolutely amazing. Thank earlier. you. Honestly, man. your set. I mean, like I said, I saw when I was speaking to you before. Yeah. Saw you guys last year on the main stage, and you guys absolutely killed it. Thank you. And it was really cool for me to see you guys actually, because I used to. I listened to you guys absolutely years ago. Yeah. And I had one of those kind of like rediscovery moments kind oh, of thing. Great. And I was like, oh my God, these guys are amazing. And I have listened to your albums so I mean, my, me and my brother have listened to your new album so much That's this year. That's awesome. Thank I mean, it's so definitely much. helped us through some rough times, yeah. both of us. Yeah. So I really appreciate that. <laughs> yep. So um, the first time I heard from you guys was your debut album. Yeah. And obviously, it's been quite a long time since that album came out. Yeah. So. What's it kind of like looking back on that album? That album? Cast your mind back. <laughs> I listened to it the other day, actually, for the first time in about six years. It's all right, isn't it? It's got some great songs on it. I think I'm quite proud of that record. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And it recently dawned on me, because a lot of people really, really love that record, like more than I think we've thought. And it recently hit me that there is a total like vibe and feeling about that record. And totally, you should tour it in full, obviously. We're not <laughs> far off a 10 year anniversary. That's totally. true. I think I'm just biased because I want to hear Home vs. Home Life, so. We played on the last tour. Yeah, yeah. In we a were kind doing of different it. form, we kind of not rewrote it, but like did a thing. Awesome. Uh, but yeah, uh, we th that's probably going to happen. Yeah. That's probably going to happen. Good news. for you, Brad. It, it should do. It should do. Um, so, it's just staying on the kind of the home versus home, something I've always kind of wondered. What is, was that song kind of written about? Because I think obviously people take their own kind of, get their own meanings from each song and stuff yeah. like that. And I kind of have what it means for me and kind of think it's quite personal, but yeah. you know. But I was just wondering what, from your point of view, what was that song written about? Uh, so, myself and Jordan, our bass player, <coughs> kind of both experienced uh, some pretty, I mean, Jordan experienced some incredibly uh, uh, heavy moments in life yeah. around the record of that, and I can't, I don't think any of us can kind of comprehend what yeah. Jordan went through, but, uh, and then, so, that was like, that happened in Aberdeen, where we're from, yeah. me and Jordan, and then some stuff happened to me in Brighton, where we moved to. Yeah. So it was kind of this thing of like weird, like this is happening at home, this is happening in our new home. Oh right. Home versus home. That's cool. I um, like it. Yeah. Uh, that song still means a lot to us. We we don't play it all that much, but uh, yeah, just kind of that feeling of wow, there's uh, an incredibly traumatic thing happening in our in our home home. Yeah. And, and there's stuff home, happening in yeah. our new home. It's, it's, so it was home. Yeah, home versus home. Just. Very Came cool. Out like that. Very cool. Yeah. I like it. So obviously your latest album, There Is Only You, has been out for a year now, is it? Two. Uh, two? two is it almost two year years? Year half, yeah. Over a year and a half, like a year and eight months. I mean, is that that album like really elevated you guys? You know, it kind of uh, it it reminded us that there were people who still cared about our band yeah. after a four year. Four years without an album out, and Why that wasn't it intentional. Oh, it was just, it? it was just. We released an album. We just toured a lot, and then, yeah. and we were writing the whole time. It's just, yeah. it just happened to be. It wasn't. It's never planned. It wasn't. We weren't. We were never sitting on our ass. We were always yeah. doing stuff. Yeah. And uh, I don't think we'd ever do that again because we want. We just want to make more music, but yeah. uh, I think I don't think the uh, there is only unity would be the album it is without that that break that yeah, high eight, yeah. yeah that time you needed the time I think the, that's like one of those things isn't it it's kind of there's pros and cons to it I suppose because you do it's kind of for me anyway I find it very because obviously I review a lot of albums when bands really rush like you know their follow up record or whatever you can tell you can really tell and you're yeah. a bit like you should have like yeah. they, they do a really good record like kind of you know project themselves and then all of a sudden you're like what you released a new record like eight months later? Yeah. Like you did this quick. We're, 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 yeah. we're very fortunate enough to not be with a, a label that forces that. So you don't have that pressure. Some bands do. We've yeah. never experienced that, which is amazing. But 
one day we might. Yeah. But we'll very much fight it to not rush a record. Yeah. Because a record is a real What's the point? Like, what's the point in releasing something you're not you're not happy with or proud, proud of? Yeah, proud of. Yeah. You know. Like yeah. It's nothing. If it's been nothing that we've released that we are, well, we aren't fully behind and proud of, so like, why start now? Exactly. So you guys obviously have been a band for a long time now. So yeah. how do you kind of keep yourself kind of motivated and keep? Because obviously being in a band is tough, you know, touring yeah. and you know, well, it can be tough for a yeah. lot of bands and some bands, you know, necessarily can't you know carry on for much longer mm. or whatever. But you guys really kind of. You always every performance I've seen you guys you've given it 100% yeah. you know your albums have been really consistent you know I th- honestly it, if it's in your blood it's in your blood yeah and it's in our blood and I think like, it helps yeah. that there's three of us that all have the same <laughs> always have the same dream and like I know a lot of bands who like there's always going to be if they're a five piece or whatever there's always going to be one member who's not quite as you know into it for the long run as everyone else and that can crack a band and I think that we're just lucky that all three of us feel the same way about how yeah you know what we want to do with our lives yeah and that we feel like we're doing the right thing with our lives so well that's it yeah like bands sometimes start young and then they all have a the same ambition and then they grow older and then life happens yeah but with us you know, heaps of stuff has happened within our lives individually, but you've just the, still the, still got that main yeah, goal. Yeah, the essence of what the excerpts want to achieve yeah. has never changed. Uh, and I mean, we're, yeah, we're as hungry for it as we were when we were kids. No, well, that's, <laughs> that's great to hear, yeah. especially because 2016 seems to be the year that all bands are breaking up. Yeah, yeah <laughs> it absolutely. seems to be mad. And all celebrities are dying. Yeah, celebrities so lucky dying. We're not bands famous yet. Hey? <laughs> Horrible. It, yeah, it's a, it's a dark year <laughs> thus far. Um, so you guys mentioned on stage that you've got, obviously you're working on a new album, and you played a song from that album, I believe, yes. earlier, yeah? Yes. What was that song called? We Are Gonna Live. We're Gonna Live. Yeah. I really like that song. It Thank was you. really, really good. That's awesome. So what made you kind of play that song? You know, is that the first song you've played from your new record, live? Or yeah. yeah. That yeah, is, yeah. It is. Yeah, well, we discussed it, and uh, I was a little bit apprehensive about uh, playing a new song because I, w- I wanted to be presented in its final self. But then, it, you know, uh, Tom was like, you know, we played last year, we played the year before, let's, like, let's give people something to get excited yeah, about. something new. So, yeah, and that one, our like I said on the stage, our record, the new record, isn't overly... Isn't overly rocking. Yeah. It's not all like. You're know. not doing a full out boy on us, are you? No, 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 no. But Good. it's. it's <laughs> or maybe we are. I don't know. I don't listen to them. <laughs> <laughs> if, if it's any of stuff you don't want to. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's not going to sound like boy, boy. <laughs> no. But just that one is very much geared up for the three of us to turn up the amplifiers and Tom, you know, to whack the drums and make people feel good about themselves and feel good about their lives so uh so we just felt like it was a good good time to present that song yeah definitely and uh but it seemed to go down really well as well yeah yeah people seem to dig it so i mean we had a nightmare with kind of parking and stuff so we kind of got there a bit late so we were like right at the back but i mean everyone was going mental yeah i mean your whole set was just the crowd was was insane the crowd were Remarkable. I've got to say, I I think last year, main stage, uh, when you were playing Aberdeen, that was probably the best festival experience I think I've ever seen. That was just insane. It was one of the best shows we've ever played, yeah. Absolutely phenomenal. uh, Yeah, just, yeah, that was one for the scrapbook. That was epic. Like, there's a YouTube video of us. Yeah, I watched that last night, actually. I can, like, that's one I can, you know, say to the grandkids. Yeah. Look what your grandfather did. God. Well, <laughs> thank you so much for speaking to us oh, and pleasure, do the uh, first album full, yeah, yeah, in yeah, full yeah, anniversary yeah, tour. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. And we'll look forward to the I new really album. Learn it, you really learn it, yeah. <laughs> I look forward to the new album. Thanks so much for speaking to us, guys. Thanks, Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers.